Post-intubation sedation. Post-intubation sedation plays a vital role in emergency department and ICU settings by managing patient discomfort, preventing complications like unintended extubation, and ensuring proper oxygenation and ventilation. Guidelines. Currently, there are no standardized sedation protocols in the emergency department, leading to varied practices. The Society of Critical Care Medicine advises against benzodiazepines due to their association with prolonged intubation. Etomidate is a sedative agent with several advantages, including a rapid onset of action, short duration of sedation, hemodynamic stability, and minimal respiratory depression. However, it is important to be aware of potential side effects such as myoclonus and adrenocortical suppression. Propofol and midazolam are two other commonly used sedatives. Propofol offers rapid onset and short sedation duration, making it suitable for brief procedures. Midazolam, on the other hand, provides amnestic and anticonvulsant effects, which can be beneficial in certain situations. However, propofol may cause injection pain and hypotension, while midazolam can lead to respiratory depression and prolonged sedation. Fentanyl is a potent opioid analgesic with a rapid onset and short duration of action. While it provides effective pain relief, it also carries the risk of respiratory depression and development of tolerance. Ketamine is a unique sedative that can be used as an adjunct or monotherapy for sedation in post-intubated trauma patients on mechanical ventilation. However, it is important to note the potential for delirium, agitation, and hallucinations. Dexmedetomidine offers a combination of sedation, analgesia, and sympatholysis. While it can be a valuable tool in certain settings, it is associated with the risk of bradycardia and hypotension. Antipsychotics like haloperidol, quetiapine, and zeprasidone are sometimes used for sedation in the ICU setting. They generally have minimal cardiovascular effects. However, each carries its own set of drawbacks. Haloperidol can cause extrapyramidal symptoms, quetiapine can lead to excessive sedation and weight gain, and zeprasidone is associated with QD prolongation. Conclusion Etomidate may cause adrenal suppression. Propofol and midazolam may cause hypotension. Fentanyl may cause respiration depression. Ketamine may cause agitation or delirium. Dexmedetomidine may cause bradycardia and hypotension. Antipsychotics may cause extrapyramidal symptoms and QD prolongation. Comprehensive knowledge of the diverse medications used for post-intubation sedation is crucial for healthcare professionals to effectively care for intubated patients in critical care environments. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.